Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an exciting day because Steve and I are both going to jump on a FaceTime call and reveal Project X. I have been talking to you guys about this all over social media for the past three, four weeks. We have been working on this for yonkers and we can finally tell you guys what it is. So we're gonna jump on a call and announce it. Oh my goodness. What do you think, babe? Your Hawaiian dance. Oh my yeah. gosh. Can you believe we're doing this video finally? I know. Guys, it has been forever coming. It has been forever coming. Forever. Forever. When did you, when do you think we started this process? About a year ago. We were in we were in Utah. It had just gone into a lockdown. We'd spoken about it. We'd actually separately spoken about doing something similar or we had ideas previously that we never really brought up to each other. So we had plans individually to do something similar. And then when we sort of sat down and spoke about it, we were like, "What in the world? Like this works. We need to do this." So should we just should we just start by saying what it is, what what our brand name is? Yeah, let's let's just go on, like why why even beat around the bush? But wait, I just want to talk to people about real fast. This yeah, this was a long time coming. We've been working on this for a year. COVID. Um, Morgan and I have poured our heart and soul into this, so you guys better like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's not even lying. We have put so much time into this project. It has been insane. It has taken up so many things. We've had little tips over it as well. Like we have done. You just like be bossy. Yeah, mostly me just saying what I want to do with it, and Steve sometimes not agreeing with it, and then we come out on top. Which what what's what's the response when we come out on top, babe? What's the response? Yeah, when we have little tiffs and I want something to happen. I don't know. Like, is it something we say? No. <laughs> Never oh. mind. What's the response? <laughs> happy life, happy wife? I don't happy know. Happy wife, happy life. Morgan's that... usually right. Morgan, yeah. Morgan and her, everything is usually right in regards to well, this stuff. Like, you are so passionate about this project. Like, you are passionate before about we started it. Um, you've grown up living in these. Like I, I, I obviously have a passion for them as well, but I think you are particular about it because, I mean, this is really the first time either one of us has started a brand by ourselves start to finish. Like I've never been as involved. Really, it's just been me and you, um, our, our designer, and then Chris, the guy who works for me, tall, skinny guy. Um, so it's been a four-person show to literally do everything. There's been so much. So, babe, do you want to tell them what it, do you want to tell them? Do you want to tell them the name? I'll tell I'll tell them what it is. You tell them the name. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Because you've got a good little reasoning as to why we named it what we named it, and then I can touch on that after. But okay. drop, drop it on them. <laughs> we are launching a swimwear label. We are doing a women's and men's swimwear label. We have a whole heap of designs. Steve has some awesome boardies coming. And we are so freaking excited. I can't believe I just said that. Like, guys, it's been like a year in the making and we finally can reveal it. We were meant to reveal ages ago, but everything's been yeah. pushed back with pretty much every other aspect of our life as well. So, yes. all right, okay. Hit him, hit him with the name, babe. You just told them the name. No, I didn't. I said it's a swimwear label. You said it's swimwear. Oh, okay. The name. It's Apollo and Sage. Apollo and Sage is the name. Um, the way this kind of came about, Morgan and I were literally going back and forth. Like, when we decided we wanted to do this together, like, two, three weeks, like, just, what are we naming it? We wrote things down. We would talk about each other. And we kind of knew, okay, we love, like, the sun. 
you love Australian, we're both Sagittarius, we're actually both Sagittarius year of the rap, which is crazy, Morgan's more into this than I am, so I'm acting like I know these things, Morgan actually brought it to my attention. Yeah, he um, knows it because I've riddled it into him. <laughs> yeah, so tell him the year of the rap comes around once every... 12 um, years, so our, both of our Chinese horoscopes are the rat, which again, it's one of 12 different horoscopes, so it's so crazy that we are both a Sagittarius and we are both Year of the Rat. There's different styles of rats and we're different rats, but still. I'm a, I'm a wood rat. Yeah, Steve, a Steve's a wood rat and I'm a fire rat. But anyway, either way, yeah. we're both Sagittarius, both Year of the Rat. It's just a crazy coincidence that we're pretty much the same person too. Right. You know, it's <laughs> so many clarities being outspoken. So that was like, I never really looked into Sagittarius, but Morgan like, like, oh, you know, we're both Sagittarius, we, we both are outgoing, this and that, so we really liked to work in Sagittarius into it, and then again, coming back to sunrise, sunset, Morgan's always watching the sunrise and sunset, and I absolutely love, you know, I've always liked Greek mythology, so Apollo, um, kind of the god of the sun, god of light, so Apollo being that, Sagittarius, shorten that up, sage, um, and, and kind of and can speak a little bit more about, like, the sage woman is, is, is very, it's very thin, and I like that. Yeah, so the sage woman, the women's side of the branding and the name is that the sage woman is an adventurous and outgoing person, loves new things, loves meeting new people, just really embodies yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, Morgan, so let's see. Yeah. And I was in bed one morning, Morgan was sleeping, because she always sleeps in longer than I do, and I hate it, I just have to sit there in bed and watch her sleep. Only in America, too. When I'm in Australia, I wake up so early, but in America, I'm just like, oh, yeah, <sighs> under the air con. There's nothing, I'm not going to go out and go for a walk, because sometimes it's like negative 10 degrees there. It is, but, yeah, it is colder. Than <laughs> but I was laying in bed, and I was thinking about Apollo, I was thinking about Sagittarius, and Apollo was Paul and Sagittarius didn't go that was it hit me Paul and Sage. Morgan loves the color green too, that sage green color. So woke her up and we just both knew, I think, right then and there, like that was the name we were going with. We registered it, we set up a business, we're 50-50 partners on it. It it is all designed obviously in Australia. Our designer is Australian. Um, and we just yeah, we've been working so hard on this project, picking out every little thing, whether the tags, the bag. Every little stitch on the short, you know, we have our, our designer that we really have liked, but we've, we literally designed everything with her. Um, and Morgan has a couple more. I, I came out with basically three different prints in two different styles. Um, Morgan, how many are you launching with? I'm launching with five different styles and four different colorways, and one of those colorways is a print. So we have a lot of options on the women's side, and we have some really cool stuff on the men's side. But... Do you reckon we should, before we go into any more detail, do you reckon we should tease, yeah, roll the clips, tease this swimwear label, tease? Roll that footage. Three. Two. <laughs> One. Roll it. Do just what you want. guys loved that as much as we did it was I'm so excited so what we wanted to obviously just touch on after you guys have seen that is just information regarding when we're going to be launching um, details into the swimwear different kind of stuff we will both go through individual hauls afterwards so you guys can see everything that is releasing 
and all of that sort of jazz. So do you want to quickly run through your stuff and then I'll jump on after you because I feel like I'm going to be sitting here talking for ages otherwise. I just want to take a minute and appreciate what we just saw. <laughs> Morgan, Morgan, Morgan makes swear like I want, okay, if I was a girl, I would want to wear it just because I was like, you know, it was like a big movie like Morgan. <laughs> Man. Your bum, being gone from you for nine months and seeing your bum in that clip. Steven! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the, the biggest thing with us is that like doing this brand as together as a couple, we wanted to be one of those things that, you know, we didn't just hire people out. We will actually be the ones that pack and ship everything. Morgan's going to be in Australia doing it with her mom. Um, I'll be in the U.S. doing it with Chris, customer service. Um, again, everything, the, 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 the painstaking time that went into this is, is crazy. It was really eye-opening. Um, we're, we're excited to, to launch it and... Um, and really share what we love about it. Um, all the prints, again, we are kind of a reflection of who we are as people as well. But just have patience with us because I know it's going to be one of those things that, you know, we don't know if we're going to sell it fast. You know, we had to do, a, couldn't do tons and tons of stock because, again, funding this project was all us as well. We didn't get investors on this. Um, so, you know, if we sell out fast, be patient while we restock, be patient if it takes a little bit longer to get your stuff in the mail. Um, Morgan's going to talk a little bit more about like how to source the products and things like that. But this is all us. So again, like every piece that you guys touch and feel, um, I have it worn, but there's a chance we touched it. There's our love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So touching a little further on that as well, I just want to put a little input into it. But like Steve said, everything that we've done, we've done from the bottom up. So we didn't go. Again, like he said, we didn't go with investors. We didn't go with pre-set up companies. We didn't go with any kind of backing on any aspect of any level. We don't have a customer service team. We don't have teams as of yet because we wanted to put this, put everything into this and put everything individually into this. So we wanted to be working on this as individuals just as much as any other brand would starting from the bottom up. So we obviously have a lot of learning to do, a lot of stuff that we're going to learn along the way, but that's the idea is that we wanted to start as organically as possible and grow with the brand. So super excited for that part of it, definitely. Um, I thought we'd touch quickly as well on the Aussie influence that we have on our Polo and Sage because at the end of the day, there are so many swimwear labels out there and the idea behind this patch passion project between the two of us is because it's something that we just both love so much. Steve is always in the water. Anywhere he can get he, anywhere he can get in the water in Utah, he's in. He goes to the lake all the time, always doing stuff, always wake surfing, you know, doing all of that sort of jazz. I'm obviously always in the ocean. I absolutely love the salt water. I love bikinis. Even in my backyard, I practice handstands in my bikinis. Like I'm always in the sunshine with minimal clothing on. So we obviously wanted to create something that we were super proud of, we were passionate about, and we wanted to make that available to you guys. So we're trying to keep in that aspect of the Australian summer vibes, really, really pushing with that. We have an amazing in-house designer. She's based in WA in Australia, and she's worked really hard with us on the designs, brought our visions and ideas to life, which we've had for so long, longer than we even thought about the brand. I know I personally have wanted to do swimwear for years and years, and I've had designs in my mind, just knowing from having every bikini under the sun, I knew what I loved, and I wanted to recreate that in a special way that represents us and our brand. So that was definitely a major thing and something that I think is worth bringing up so you guys can really understand where that passion, where that inspiration came from for our suits, our cuts, our styles, colors, prints, all of that sort of jazz. You want to talk about how sustainability? Like yes, that. yeah. So I'll also touch on a couple of different things. We obviously want this swimwear to be available to everyone. So we've made sure sizing is an extra small to a double XL, so 2XL. Um, and we have, like we said before, limited stock. So again, if it sells out, just be patient with us. We will jump straight on and order more stock, more stock. So we try and cater for everyone. Um, and then also I wanted to touch on our 
our brand as an ethical brand. We are an ethically based swimwear brand and we have a beautiful warehouse over in Indonesia in Bali and it's run and it's an, a women's only warehouse. So it's made by women for women. We have some beautiful staff there. They're putting all of this love and time into our swimwear. So we wanted to make sure that we were obviously working through a great company, a great manufacturer, a great warehouse that is ethical and everything's up to standard. So that is definitely something that we made sure that, you know, that was there because otherwise we wouldn't want to do that. We wouldn't want that at all. So that's definitely something that is great. So we got the sizing, it's an ethical brand. Um, anything else you want to touch on? It's very on this launch date. So we're looking at yeah. launching the second week in March, hopefully March 8th. You know, I'm going to throw that out there again because we're dealing with COVID and we're launching this. Like Maureen was supposed to be here in Australia or here in Hawaii, where I was supposed to be. We were supposed to be together. I was either going to be there or she's going to be there here and we're going to launch this brand together um getting back to our launch date because of covid because everything else we got going on um just just stay tuned and again when you guys support this brand you're definitely supporting morgan and i so we really appreciate you guys and always looking for constructive feedback from you guys on if you guys want to see a new print or a style um again this is something we both love like we can you can tell when, when we talk about this there's a real passion for that in, in this and, and again i'm so glad that Morgan wanted to do this so check it out for you know March 8th check it out it's gonna be coming out and you can follow at Apollo dot Apollo dot and dot sage um, yeah and that's our Instagram page and then yeah go right now go there right now just hit follow <laughs> do us a favor please go follow the page <laughs> and then Morgan's gonna do like if you're a girl watching this on my channel go to hers it's in the description she's gonna go over all the product details and, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go in the world of board shorts right now on my channel as soon yeah. as I say goodbye to and uh, getting after it. Awesome. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll continue on with a, a cute little try on haul, go through the details, that sort of stuff. And Steve will do the same on his channel. And you guys will literally know everything that you need to know in regards to this launch. Sweet. Awesome. Ciao. We will get back to you with exact times and dates, but like Steve said, March 8th for America and the Northern Hemisphere area. Um, and it'll be March 9th for Australians and anyone that is down this way. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, we'll get back to you with information, but if you're following the Instagram page, you will not miss a beat. So make sure you do so right now. Let's continue on to the halls then, shall we? All right. Good. Awesome. Have fun. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> All righty. So let's roll straight on to our little detailed haul, going through every single piece, showing you guys my favorites as well. luxury swimwear options we will start by going through all of the women's pieces from Apollo and Sage in their colors and in their individual styles I'll go through the coverage that you guys have we'll do a rating out of three and then also the cheekiness and the support that you guys can also get from these for our larger bust girls so let's get started Firstly, I want to chat about one thing that is consistent across every single piece of swimwear that we have, and it is that it is double lined. So sometimes with swimwear, and you may have had this happen to you, you might have realized, you may have not, but when swimwear is only one lining of material, it can stick and it can kind of show the outlines of what's underneath. So we wanted it to be as thick, outline proof, as possible so we double layered the materials to make sure that you guys have the best quality swimwear. Very first piece of the collection is the Tallow Full Piece. Let's go into a little bit of a detail. We have it in the Melrose colour and the floral print on our mannequin friend over there. Only those two colourways so just keep that in mind. 
Details, we have more material on the siding just to cover up a little bit more of our chest area on, a, on our bigger bust girls. A higher scoop at the neck, but not too high that it sits on the chest bone. It's right where the breasts would begin. We have a lower scoop at the back. Love low backs, that's just a thing that I love. We have a high cut on the hips, making sure that obviously we still have the material down the bottom, so you guys have full coverage down there. And then at the back we have a cheeky cut, meeting up with our high cut on the hips. Coverage, I would say, is a two out of three, support, two out of three. Our second item is the Bedina bottom. So this one is our high-waisted bottom. I went through hell and back to get you guys the perfect high-waisted bottom because you should know your girl is like a bikini fanatic. There is a reason why I wanted to start my own swimwear brand and this is the reason, <laughs> all jokes aside, this bottom is absolutely amazing. It sits just underneath the belly button and I wanted to make sure that you guys could see the belly button because I think if your belly button is hidden, it's too high-waisted. We've got the high cut on the hips, but we also had to make sure that we had enough material on the side to really hug your body. Then we have, again, material at the front just for that little bit more coverage where your lady part is. And we have a cheeky cut at the back. Absolutely amazing. This one comes in every color. So we've got it in the gray lilac, the Melrose, the indigo blue, and the floral print. This is the one of two sets that comes in every color. So. This is definitely something that I know a lot of you guys have your eyes on. Support for this one would be a 2 out of 3 and our coverage would be a 1 out of 3 just because of how cheeky cut that booty is. Second item is our ballina bottom. I don't know if you guys have already realised but every piece of my Apollo and Sage collection is named after an Australian beach and ballina is my favourite place in the world so this one is very special to me. It is your everyday string bottom, which is really good only for the fact that you can adjust the coverage. So we have up to this much coverage on the front and up to this much coverage on the back. I wear an extra small in this, but I do like to cinch both the back and the front to have a little bit more cheekiness in both parts of this. Obviously the ties on the sides are adjustable. You guys just tie to whatever you like. I like doing them a little bit looser so I can sit them higher on my hips so it's more in V-line. Really, really great basic staple to have. Coverage, again, this one ranges. So I would say one to two. And support, I would say a one. This one doesn't have much support because again, it is adjustable on the sides and the material is also adjustable. So not much support, but the difference in coverage is going to be your best thing about this piece. This one comes in the indigo blue and the Melrose color as well. So two options for this bad boy. Next one we have is our third variation of our bottoms. Our cheekiest of the cheekiest, my favorite bottom out of this whole line, the modern bottom. This is your girl. I, this is me. In, envision me in bikini form. This is it. We have Higher V cut, as you can see on the side, so it sits higher up on the hips. Double lined, of course. More material in the front for that coverage. And we have a hella cheeky cut on the back. Absolutely love it. We have it in every color. I've made it available in every color. So we have the floral indigo blue, gray lilac, and Melrose in this one. Coverage, one out of three. Support, probably a one out of three as well. So. It has the least coverage and the least support, but it is definitely the cutest. And honestly, every one of my models rocked this bottom. Absolutely loved it. Our last bottom for the collection is our Hamilton bottom. And this one is for the girls who want a little bit more fuller coverage. So first things first, you can see it has a scoop in the front here. So it's not high-waisted at the front. It's got that scoop. But at the back, it does actually sit a little bit higher on the hips. So we've got a fuller coverage in the bottom, the fullest coverage that we have in the whole collection. And then in the front, we have a pretty basic line bikini. So we have the dip in the front, still the high hips. I wanted to make sure you guys still had the option of it sitting on your hips or you could wear it lower and just stretch it out as a low rise. 
Not that I think many people will wear it as a low rise, which is why I wanted the option to wear it up on the hips. This one specifically is one of the only bottoms that has a certain type of stitching around each hole in regards to the waist hole and the legs hole. So, because of this reason, it has less give. Make sure if you're wanting to grab this one to either size up or if you're between sizes, just go to the large one because you will be a much safer with a larger size than the smaller size. And that's just being completely upfront and honest because that's how we wanted to do this and it was the best way to do so to create that full coverage. We have this one in the Melrose, the floral print and the indigo blue. So three colorways in this one. Coverage is a three out of three and support is probably a two out of three. We have great support in the back. Again, because of that thickness and that stitching on the outside, really great support. But on the front here, just remember it's got the dip. It's not high waisted in the front. Moving on to our tops for the collection. So the very first one we'll go through is the Bedina top. It's a beautiful basic bandeau top, which we love. We have a support band on the side as well. It's this little piece of underwiring that goes on the sides of your body and it actually stops it from cinching on the sides. So that's an awesome little detail. On the back, it's got very minimal material. So it's not something that is bulky at the back, perfect for tanning in. This one comes in every color. It is matched up with our high-waisted bottoms. So the Bedina top and the Bedina bottom. So we've got it in the floral, the indigo, the gray lilac, and the Melrose. It's a great staple to have. Coverage is a one to two out of three, depending on how big your bust is. And support is probably a one out of three. It has little to no support just because of the style of bandeau that it is. Next top that we have is our Bellina top. This one looks incredible on any woman of any size. We had some of our beautiful models trial and test it and it looks incredible on all of them. Reason being, we have our adjustable sides. So you either have a fuller coverage for bigger busted girls or you can cinch it and make it smaller coverage for the smaller busted girls. But we do also have the cinching in the middle. So what this does, it actually cups the boobs, whatever size your boobs are, and it creates a kind of seashell look, a seashell top vibe. Absolutely love it. We have just our string tops. They come round, the straps at the back are adjustable and then you tie it into the middle. So it comes up and over the shoulders, ties back into the middle. This one comes in the indigo blue and the Melrose color. So just the two colors for this one. Support would be a two out of three because of that cinching and because we can kind of cut the whole breast. Absolutely great, it's perfect for that. And coverage is about a two out of three as well because of the fact that you can adjust the sides and adjust the coverage that you like. Our next top we have is the Hamilton top. This one comes in the beautiful floral print. We have the indigo blue and the Melrose color. So three options with this one. This one is our most coverage top and the most supportive top as well, which is really, really great. We have an underwiring under the cups and thicker straps up the top for more support. We come around to the back, we have adjustable straps down the bottom here and then a thicker tie at the back as well. So we have more material, more coverage, more support. This one is absolutely beautiful. It really, really lifts up those boobs and it has a beautiful shaping around the whole front side of the bikini. Absolutely love it. Coverage would be a two out of three, support would be a two out of three as well. Last one, and you know what? I've saved the best one to last. I have been teasing this on my socials for like the last six months. It was the very first design that I approved. It was the first one that I fell in love with. It was the last one I fell in love with. It is the one I think about every day. I wake up and every day and I go, I'm gonna put on this one. It is absolutely so stunning on every single person that I've seen wear it. I wanna introduce you to da, 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 the Morton top. Absolutely gorgeous. I freaking love this top. So, inspiration behind this one was I love frills, okay? I love frills. So, I wanted one of my tops to have a little bit of frill, but sexy frill. I don't want it to be cute and itsy and bitsy. I wanted it to look hot. And this top does exactly that. So, at the front, we have adjustable width 
of where you want this to sit underneath your groups. The way that this top is designed is that it sits underneath and it lifts. So girls of any breast size, it still looks amazing. So the front, it sits underneath the boob and then at the back, you can see we've got thicker straps with this one. At the back, it comes down and it joins onto our middle strap, which ties up into the middle. Because the straps are nice and thick at the back and then it comes into the cute little tie, it just looks, I don't know how many times I have to say this to you guys, it just looks incredible, okay? Just believe me, this one is going to be amazing and I am 99% sure it is gonna sell out. So if you guys love this top, make sure you get in quick because it's gonna be overwhelming, that's for sure. This one comes in every color. I've made it available in every color because again, favorite top, why wouldn't I? We have it in the Melrose, gray lilac, indigo blue, and the print. So make sure, again, if you love this one, you get your hands on it nice and early. Coverage, two out of three, because we have that adjustable bottom. Support, two out of three as well. We really lift up that bust in this top, and we do it in such a beautiful way. Freaking love this bikini. I'm so proud of this one. I literally, I just, guys, honestly, I designed this bikini about a year and a half ago. Like, I had this design ages ago, before I even knew I was going to be, going to be doing a swimwear line with Steve. It's been around forever. I've just, I've loved it. Anyway, that is the final piece of our Polo and Sage collection. I hope you guys love it. I will give you some more info surrounding our launch. Make sure you check out our socials, apollo.end.sage. That's it for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one.